How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the moment I've been waiting uh, three months for. I got my Bobcat Miner in the mail today. As you can see, it's a GoPro right here. It's not what it looks like, first off. Uh, I want to be showing you guys uh, basically first unboxing and review. So first I'm going to cut it open so you guys don't see uh, my, my address information or anything. But man, I'm excited. I was kind of uh, nervous that it wasn't going to actually get here today but it looks like it's here so and I just cut through the bobcat box that's great all right here's the back side of it here's the front the people's miner oh my goodness what does it say here for more information on bobcat and blah 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 okay so um, this is the first miner this is actually the last miner that I bought I bought the rack miner. I bought two of the rack miners because they were, I think they were the cheapest at the time and it seemed like they were going to come in the quickest. Then I bought a Nebra or Nebra, however you want to call that. And then finally, lastly, I bought this one. I believe I bought this April 13th. Sounds about right. Uh, just for reference, I was order number 133,000. Uh, I won't give you the end numbers, but uh, I was order 133,000. Um, so, you know, if you guys ordered in that time frame, you should be getting it now too. So, let's open this bad boy up. How it works. Easy as one, two, three. All right. This is so exciting. I, 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 I'm so excited. This is unbelievable. Okay. Quick troubleshoot guide. What do the LED colors indicate? I don't know if the GoPro is capturing it all. It is. Okay. So, we got connected to the internet, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it smells like a new electronic device. That's awesome. Oh, I wish you guys could experience this with me. All right, you can do Wi-Fi. You can do Bluetooth. There's Bluetooth on it. And yes, you can sync it before it's certain. It's okay. Oh, okay. So I can sync the miner to the hotspot before I actually assert its location. So here we go. Oh, let's hide this. So let's see if this is. Oh, it's just a warranty card. Okay. So set this aside. Oh, my goodness. It's real. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of surreal after all this time. What is this? Oh, they gave us a SIM card ejection tool. Um, here's some mounting screws, it looks like. Oh, I can mount it to the wall. Or is that just for the antenna? How is that working? Here's the antenna. Uh, wow, this is awesome. Because I wanted to... What is this? Oh, there's an additional antenna thing. Cool. So, as you guys can see right now, I have a window right here. And there's no screen. I, I can take out the screen very easily. So what I wanted to do was put the uh, the antenna right right there. Well, you guys can see, like right there. With the other miners, a lot of them have um, oh, this little silicone base. A lot of them have like a little antenna that screws right into the back of the miner. So this is definitely a plus for me. So I'm gonna put the antenna back in because this is what we came for, all right? The charger the power brick. They gave me US. That's exactly what I need. Perfect. Okay, I'm wasting time. This is the Bobcat Miner. Pull it up on screen so you guys can see. It's in its glorious packaging. Um, I'm, I'm shaking right now. And I know the GoPro is not doing a good job capturing this. Uh, but boom. Bobcat Miner. Right here. Uh, it's pretty light. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. We got uh, the antenna spot, a Bluetooth button. That's probably like a syncing button. A TF card. I'm not sure what a TF card is. Com. I don't know what that is either. Uh, Ethernet and DC12. Wait, does this have power over Ethernet? Um... No, it looks like it doesn't. So the cool thing, the reason I bought the Nebra Miner is because it has power over Ethernet. The, if you, I'm struggling over here. If you guys don't know what power over Ethernet is, it's basically it provides, I believe, it, it's a pretty high voltage through the Ethernet cable, which it's completely capable of. And there are a lot of devices that are being PoE now. So uh, outdoor helium hotspot miners, and I believe the Curlink miners are. Um, they have the ability to be PoE, but they also have a standard DC 12 volt uh, thing. So uh, this is honestly, this is a lot lighter than I thought it would be. 
I want to hook this up. I want to see what's going on. I want to plug it in. And, uh, yeah, so let's let's go for it. I mean, why not? Uh, we got the antenna, it looks like. Uh, and then there's also a little little theme in my jig, whatever this is. The screws, I would assume, on top. Okay, and I would assume this screws in here. The big thing I want to know is, I know a lot of people, uh, like they set them up and it has to sink to a hot spot for a couple days. I'm unsure if I sink it, if it's going to, uh, I'm getting distracted by this cable tie. If, if I unplug the device or let's say I lose power or something like that, is it going to have to take another 24 hours or whatever it is to actually get linked up to the blockchain? Or is it going to be like a standard, you know, like my, my uh, Google Home or something? When I lose power, it just plugs back in and it's right back to the normal thing. I think it's going to be uh, normal. Uh, so basically, uh, it has the option for Ethernet. I'm going to do Wi-Fi just because I don't have an Ethernet cable that's long enough. My Wi-Fi router is downstairs and this, I mean, this is going to work perfectly. I can put this there. And I can put my Bobcat monitor like over on the floor or something. It doesn't even have to be in any any good location. So this is the sim eject tool, right? Okay, there's nothing else in here, I don't believe. So that's my power adapter. And then these are some mounting screws. I'm just going to roll with it. Um, I think I can just do it. Set the box down. I think I can just plug this baby in and get rolling. So let's do it. Even though I said it like three minutes ago. I'm really excited, really excited. All right, I gotta go underneath my desk, get a power port. Perfect. Plug that in, plug this in. All right, we got a yellow light. Okay. Well, I kinda can't. Okay, we got a red light. It's showing up, okay. It's still showing up on here. So I think I have to go on my phone now, go to the Helium app. It unlocked. Okay, let's add a hotspot. Bobcat Monitor 300. Play. Okay, it tells. This is cool. It tells you, give you a nice view. Um, okay, don't hide me. Oops. Well, I think this is an exception. It says don't hide me, but this has an antenna that is. Okay. Don't block signals. I hate bug screens. Oh yeah, I gotta take this bug screen out. I got my bug screen out. Sorry about that. You guys can still see it in the bottom corner here. This is my Bobcat. So I've read the guide, blah, blah, blah. Okay, diagnosis. I understand. Power up. Plug in the provided power adapter. Okay. When the yellow light goes from red to yellow. Okay. So I have a yellow light now. It just turned yellow. I'm powered up. Use the provided pin to press the Bluetooth button. Oh, man. I gotta get that pin out. I have so many of these things and I always lose them and I always put them in a place where I won't lose them. Doesn't matter. I always lose them. So I'm going to press, what does it say, for five seconds? One, two, three, four, five. All right, now we got a blue light. This is exhilarating. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. I almost dropped it. Okay. Scan for my hotspot. Let's go. Let's see. I don't want it to uh, DDoS my location, so I'm going to hide the spot. Okay. Found the hotspot miner. Connecting to Bobcat Miner. All right, so now it's going to make me connect to my Wi-Fi. Oh, gosh, I forget the password. I think I got the password right. This is so cool. Yes. It's going to ask for my permissions. Oh, almost just gave away my location. That's unfortunate. Set location. Antenna setup for DPI. Oh, okay. So it's asking, how am I going to get the height? Three. All right, I'm going to say six meters. I think that's really solid. 20 feet in the air. I say I'm 20 feet in the air, which is six meters. Cool. Next. Your location fee has been prepaid. 
That's epic. Okay. Register my hotspot. It's registering. And error. Got it. Red means that it's booting. I should have read. Okay. So basically, just give you guys a rundown of what happened. Oh, and we're back to yellow. Cool. So red is when it boots up. For any of you guys that get one of these. Oh, and I guess it's not up. What's happening? I don't know what the power is. I mean, I'm connected to power, so red is booting up. Yellow means it's, like, ready to pair or there's, like, a uh, problem with the internet. But uh, green is good. means you're connected and you're mining. And uh, blue is Bluetooth pairing. So, all right. There was a little bit of a technical difficulty there. I don't know what was happening. Um, basically, my Bobcat is being added to the blockchain right now. Or, to sorry, to the... Uh, helium network so uh, I think I did it all correctly it says pending I can't show you guys that obviously because it's gonna give away my location and everything but um, I think that's it for this video there's really nothing else left to do now my miner just has to sync to the the blockchain and then after it sinks in about 24 hours I think 24 to 72 just to be safe uh, from that point forward, then I can start earning. So it looks like I'm going to have a full month of earnings starting August. Uh, I might get a, a day before or, or whatnot. But I'm looking forward to seeing how much I make in Helium and how profitable it is and if it would have been more profitable if at this point I sold the miner because, because I have it in hand if I were to sell the Bobcat miner. Uh, I've been seeing them going for easily over $2,000 on eBay. Uh, I saw, saw one sell for $2,300. And then you, if you take into account the eBay fee, it's probably, uh, I would be getting around, uh, I would say $1,900 after all the fees are taken out. So this is an experiment. I, I don't want to sell this. I think it would be very cool because I'm really interested in the Helium platform. And also, I'm building the network because where I am located, there is three miners and they are not relatively close to me. And I have four that I bought. Only one's here. The number one is supposed to be coming soon. Hopefully, it does come. My hope is that it comes by mid-August. That At that point, then I can set it up at a different location close to me but far away enough that they can, can participate in the proof of coverage platform. I sound really professional right now. I don't know what's going on, but uh, anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like. If you have any questions on this miner, I'm not like some really high-rated YouTuber. I will answer everything that you guys have to ask. If you guys want to see like really detailed, like I'll tear this thing apart if you guys want to see it. Uh, it's up to you, so let me know. I will catch you all in the next video, which will hopefully be, uh, well, it will definitely be an August 1st Helium update. And then from that point on, uh, I think I'm just going to start covering uh, Helium miners, and then I'm going to start covering some different coins. So I appreciate you guys all, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.